from WMTW-TV. This is News 8 at 6. Well, three years ago, Maine Medical Center teamed up with Tufts University Medical School in Boston to train medical students here in Maine. Students in the program spend their first two years at Tufts and then move out into the field here in Maine. News 8's Norm Carco spent the day with one of those students and has a closer look now. Margaret Griffith spent her first two years of medical school in the classroom at Tufts University in Boston. But now she's getting hands-on experience at Midcoast Hospital in Brunswick. You come up here and you're working directly with the doctors and if there's something going on that you want to be a part of, um, pretty much all of the doctors are eager to have you. Griffith is in the first class midway through the innovative program known by its technical name, Longitudinal Integrated Curriculum. In our model, the students, it's almost like their own practice, and they follow patients to their healthcare experiences. Thank you, it allows the students to work directly with patients through different areas of care, such as surgery, pediatrics, family medicine, and OB-GYN. Ultimately, it is about the patients, and so being able to be hands-on and interact with the patients and get their direct feedback even of, like, you know, you did this well, and this you could have done better, and, and, and so that's instant feedback that makes you a better doctor. Turns out Margaret Griffith helped one of her patients deliver a baby this morning. Like I said, to be a part of somebody's birthday um, is awesome. Like many states, Maine is in need of specialists. The program was designed to give these students hands-on experience where it is needed the most. The hope is that it may actually entice them to stay in Maine for years to come. It may be that students um, go to Tufts, do their residency, get some specialty training, but we still want them to come and live and work in their community, come back and live and work in their communities. In Brunswick, Norm Carcos, News 8.